annual dinner. <coughs> and we'll have Pastor Adam Carter as our speaker. Amen. 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 Um, the 24th, we will have our Christmas Eve program at 6 o'clock. Amen. And on December 31st, we will have New Year's Eve service, and it will begin at 10 o'clock. Now, do we have any visitors? Bible war. I'm Sister Janice Mills is at you. And I just want to say God is good. Yes, Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Mom welcomes you. Amen. Now we'll have an announcement from Amen. Sister Vanessa Mason. Amen. Good morning, Mal. Uh, just to piggyback off of what Sister Vanessa said already, the uh, Christmas Eve worship service will be Tuesday, December the 24th at 6 p.m. We're asking you all to come out and support our youth. Uh, they, are, they are very energetic and excited, and we just really need to come out and just show them some support. Amen. So, Amen. Amen. And then finally, um, attention all ministries. There is a request for a Christmas love gift from all church ministries yep. to our pastor. Amen. Amen. They will be presented at the Christmas program on Tuesday the 24th. Uh, please, we're asking that you please have a representative to present that to the pastor on the, at that Christmas Eve service. Thank you. All right. Amen. 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 Hey, man, good morning. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Wait, amen. amen. I just cannot say enough to you about um, how we responded to uh, home going of Brother Ron amen. and Brother Resonese and Biden, and also for the Webster family. And Connie, know that we are continuing to pray for you. Uh, you still got our number, and we're going to be calling you as well. Amen. 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 Books as well. Good to see you and, and to let you know we love you. And there's always a post funeral uh, that sometimes is most difficult. Uh, you know, you get a lot of support when you first hear a person dies and you get people coming by the house calling. Then during the funeral, and then they say, anything, just give me a call. And uh, sometimes it shouldn't be that we ought to call them. That's right. Now, and go by on a continuous basis because it doesn't stop just because the funeral is over. Yeah, that's right. And, um, and uh, I cannot just say enough about your energy and effort. Uh, the kitchen crew, uh, they've they done, done triple time. Amen. Uh, Amen. Thursday, Saturday, and today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and like, yeah, yeah. And so uh, we just want to thank them as well as Meant them in triple roles because you have some work in the kitchen, they serve in the kitchen, and they up here ushering in the choir and all that. And that's just a blessing to be able to have that kind of servanthood and not complain. Now, if you complain, I don't want to know about it. I haven't heard a word, and I want to thank you all. That's how it ought to be. We ought to serve one another. And you never know when your time is coming. All right. Death don't care. And if the Lord delay his coming, we all got to go that way. And uh, we want to be able to be comfort others as we've been comforted. So let's keep that in mind. Um, and then uh, I'm going to just go ahead and do this. Uh, uh, Brother Josephus Perkins, um, Sister, Sister Nelson Delia's husband. Uh, we've been praying for him as well. I'm going to give you about two or three minutes. I don't want you to take off running. Uh, I won't get on the organ if you don't run. So, let's kind of stand and give us an update real quick what you told me last night about him. Praise God for the prayer that you had. 
you know, set up because that's really unusual. I'm looking for they do when they do the uh, the scan that cancer be gone. Amen. There have been occasions in this church you know, where the Lord, as the Lord called, He's sovereign, where people have had it. And then they go back and it's gone. Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't know what it is. I ain't got no, I don't hear all. Uh, I'm messing with people sometimes, hit them on the forehead, just playing. Uh, <laughs> but I don't, I don't have to give them. Baby girl will tell you that. But, see, she didn't pay her five dollars. That's all I mean. <laughs> she, she paid that five dollars. We're going to clear the account. But, <laughs> but, but sometimes he chooses that. And that's, he's sovereign. He can do what he wants, when he wants, how he wants, and in whatever manner he chooses. And there have been some people here. Uh, long, breasts, all that time. When they go back, it's gone. That's Amen. Amen. And we say often that doctors can only treat, but the Lord heals. Yeah. So that's what uh, that's what has happened. Others he's taken on home. And that is a kind of healing in and of itself. Yeah. Because you, you go from the land of some old yeah. suffering, pain, to the land of no more. That's right, and that's where all of us are headed ultimately. Uh -huh. Amen. So we want to want to uh, encourage. Sister Perkins, and, and when I talk with him, he just act like nothing going on. Amen. He just go oh, well, you know, I've been talking, and I got a good laugh when I told him to make her behave himself. And that's why he was laughing at the end of the phone. I guess it must be a pretty tough job to do it. <laughs> Amen. Brother Jordan, will you come? Brother Jordan. Amen. 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 Philippian jail. Yeah. It was at night. At night. Mm -hmm. Midnight. And then myself, 50 years ago, Thursday, Amen. at night. Amen. There's nothing wrong with night service. No. Amen. 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 So he came at night. He didn't want to go to hell. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to hell. Amen. And he heard the gospel message Amen. and came up after the benediction, much like that. Yeah. Gave his life to Christ. Amen. Be excited. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 What the Lord's going to do in his life. God bless you, man. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Amen. All right. One last thing I forgot to have in the announcements. Uh, Bible class on Wednesday uh, morning and Wednesday evening will begin again on the 8th of January. Amen. Uh, Reverend Chambers on Tuesday, y'all. Will you all do on the 7th? Okay. <laughs> January 7th. Uh, and we'll have uh, 101, we'll be meeting next week for the last time of the year, next week. And then we'll be off until after the first year as well. So just make a note of it, I'll have it in the bulletin uh, next Sunday. Yes, sir, what time is afternoon service? We're not having afternoon service, no way. It's my birthday. It should be 8-3 birthday. Your birthday is when? Tomorrow. Huh? Mom. Tomorrow. Oh, your mom. Okay, wait a minute, tell her happy birthday. Tell them Mount Olive and the pastor. 83. Tell them Mount Olive and the pastor. The church said happy birthday.
Time to worship in the Lord's giving. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. It's always good to get back to what God has given to us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And uh, where Brother Harris to stand is for our tithes and our offering, our benevolence and building funds. So let's uh, get back to those ministries. Where Brother Rice is standing for our pastoral support. Amen. And let's be supportive of our pastor and what he, his needs may be. Amen. And we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you once again. Uh, we thank you for this offering, Lord. We ask that it be uplifting for your kingdom, Lord. We ask that you just bless the ones that had to give and bless the ones that had to give. To In your son Jesus' name, forevermore. Thank God. Amen. 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 Hands at us. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be as, be such as was in her vexation when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan and Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in dark, darkness have seen great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shine. Thou hast multiplied the nation, and not increased the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy of the harvest, as men rejoice when they lie in the for, for thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder. The rod of his oppressor as in the day of me. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The mighty God, yes. the everlasting Father, yes. the Prince of Peace. Yes. For unto us a child is born, yes. unto us a child is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, yes. and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, yes. the mighty God, the everlasting Father, yes. the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and Peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, yes. to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice, from henceforth even forever, the, de the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Yes.
Church, amen. It's prayer time. Yep. Ain't God good? All the time. I know that's poor English. I know. I know that's poor English, but ain't God good? Yep. And he's shown enough. And that's bad English, too. <laughs> he's shown enough worthy to be praised. It's prayer time. And we all need prayer. Prayer is the answer. Her pastor wife was talking about man and the chemo said no pain. God can heal. Asked the woman with the issue of blood. She went to every doctor she could. But she heard about a man named Jesus. So if I could just touch the hem of his garment. And she touched the hem of his garment. And was made off. Yeah, so sometimes prayer can get you into trouble. And ask Daniel. <laughs> Wanted him to stop praying. He said, no, I'm going. If anybody get caught praying, it's going to cast him in the lion's den. To Daniel. He prayed anyway. They cast him in the lion's den. They put him in there. Don't know what went on in there, but I do know this. He was able to come out of the lion. Whatever you're in, God can bring you through. No need to walk with your head bowed down. Walk with your head up. Lift your eyes unto the ears. From what's coming all of your strength. And your strength comes from God. God is able. Whatever is going on. Whatever is going on in your life. And we know that all things. Work together for the good of them. That love the Lord. And are called according. To his purpose. Shall we bow our heads. Thomas Hines. God's able. Keep rolling. Continue to pray for Connie Jackson and the Webster family. Continue to pray for all of them. Who? God is able this morning. He's able. able. Shall we bow our heads, Lord? Our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Father, we come to thee because there is no one else. We know that you are able to do anything. And this morning we are calling on your name. We know that you are able to lift up a bow down here. We know that you are able to give ease to a trouble. Grandma said that you was a heart fixer and a mind regulator. We coming now, Lord, not that we've been so good and not that we've been so righteous, heaven dotted every eye, heaven crossed every T, but we come now as humble as we know how, thanking you, first of all, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for looking beyond our fault and seeing our needs. Thank you, Lord, that some things you told us to do, we didn't do, and some things we did, we should not have done. But thank you for your grace and 
your mercy. Yes. We come now, Lord. Yes. You've heard the prayer request. Yes. Move in your own time, your own way, and your own will. Yes. Because we know that you're sovereign. Yes. We know that you're able to lift up a bow down here. Yes. We want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this day. We, we, we don't know what lies on the next moment, but we thank you. Thank you. So right now, thank you for when we woke up this morning, we was in our right frame of mind. May have had some free weights and pain, but you allowed us to roll on a little while longer. And we want to say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we've had some good days and some bad days, but we want to say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we've had some rain in our lives, but also we yeah. had some sunshine, and we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for just being able to come and worship and praise your name. Yes. Yeah. Move right now on my life. If there's anything in the start that is preventing us from worshiping you, we ask that you Take it away from us right now so we can praise your name. Why? Because you're worthy to be praised. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for allowing the preacher and his wife to drive over the dangerous highway. Then, Lord, we ask that you give him preaching power this morning. That he may give your people what you have given him to say. And then, Lord, we thank you for our pastor and his wife. Continue to hold him in the holiday. Continue to mold and shake him, Lord, because he is the clay and you are the potter. And, Lord, even in our lives, we know that you are the, we are the clay and you are the potter. Mold us and shape us in the way that you would have us to be. Give us a little bit more love and a little bit more understanding and a little bit more faith, Lord. Oh, and we recognize, we recognize, we know, we know that you are God, but science, there is no other. Let your Holy Spirit rule this morning. Let somebody out there that don't know you in the party say that they may stand and ask, what must I do to be saved? And then we thank you for Jesus. Amen. Who died on Calvary. Stayed in the grave through the day and got up early Sunday morning. And said, All power. All power. Not some power, but all power. All power. We thank you. Thank you. Wherever your word is being preached this morning, touch it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, because you've been so good. Yeah. Woo, you've been so good to us when we didn't deserve it. You've been so good to us. If I've omitted anything, Lord, charge it to my mind no more. Thank you. This is my prayer. Okay. We come to praise you. This is my prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Woo! Let the whole house say. Amen.
uh, this past June at the Southeastern District uh, Conference and Mini Congress, <coughs> and um, uh, had the I had the pastors class, pastors, deacons, ministers, and men's class, yeah. and uh, we had a good good number of brothers there and had a really good time of discussion and fellowship and interaction, and um, and just kind of took to him, yeah. and here he is today. We're certainly glad yeah. again that he's going to share with us. Amen. The choir gets through with the next two selections that come down, the next voice you'll hear may be that of Pastor Adam Clark. Amen. Oh 